Welcome back guys to our campaign where we try to restore the Ayubit borders as Hishin Kaifa. So in the last episode we left off in a war against France, Venice, uh, Naples and some minor states I guess. Um, it's a war that was it the Ottomans, is it an offensive war? Yeah, the Ottomans declared the war. So, I mean, we're just helping them. We have the manpower for it. We might as well gain some favors. So, we're doing that, I guess. Um, I think this will be the episode where we finally move our capital. I've been talking about that for a few episodes now. Um, but we always end up at war when we have the admin points or uh, our tech or something like that. So, we always end up doing something else but I think this will be the episode guys <laughs> where we actually move the capital um, so yeah our ports are getting blockaded I mean that's fine it's not really yeah no problem there um, we can make states not important missions not important we're gonna wait Ideas, we can't really use that. We could take tech, but we're not gonna do that yet. I mean, when's the uh, Moorish influx? That's in 10 years. Do we have other tech cost reductions? We don't. So we might as well wait. Um, so yeah, let's go on with the war, I guess. The Jazz still uh, disloyal, but we're close to getting him loyal. So that's nice. So what's this? They'll arrive on the 23? The 21? We could catch the cannons. Oh, I'm stupid. I should have waited. Uh, this might be very bad. The Ottomans not reinforced and we are gonna have to fight this battle because Stupid reasons. Um, and we are not the defender. Let's just wait for the Ottomans to pull out. Uh, actually. Are we winning? We're not gonna win with the uh, stack there. So, we did pretty good in that one. Even though we've screwed it up a bit. <laughs> but it's fine. We have a lot of manpower, so getting these favors is quite good, even though we have a lot of them already. Maybe we can get 100. That that may be the goal, actually. Getting 100 uh, trust with the Ottomans. So they will never want our land, they will never betray us, and it's gonna be awesome. Even though they have set, like, half of my land as strategic utility, doesn't matter. They love us. It's fine. All is good in the world. So the next year we'll take tech because then it's minus five. Um, so the Ottomans are engaging. It's defensive. So they actually it was actually a good battle since they had to move out from the fort. Uh, the Ottomans are probably not gonna win that. <laughs> no, but they inflicted some heavy casualties. Oh my god. That's 4 to 1. Or oh, 3 to 1 rather because they all also lost uh, 1k cav. That's that's impressive. That's really impressive actually. We don't really care about missionaries. We're not going to convert stuff. Don't have the missionary strength anyways. But damn Ottomans. I swear these Anatolian unit types in the early game, they just have so many more pips than the Western units. So it's great playing as uh, the Ottomans in the start. However, when we it comes to late game, the Anatolian unit types have a few less pips. So I guess that's the drawback of having a good early game. I guess that kind of makes sense with the Ottoman history as well. Let's walk into the mountains here. If they want, oh, why are you doing this, Ottomans? We're gonna take so much attrition here. We are already, we're taking 5%. You bastard. You bloody bastard. Okay, he sneak attacked. So, 
So Ragu's in the war? Nope. They're not. Can nearly take tech. We can actually almost take dip tech as well. Can we do something with the... Uh, we could do this, but then again... Nope, let's not do that because it would get them busy. And I don't want that. Alright, let's see here. The Ottomans actually got away. I kind of wanted that fight to happen. Because it was in the mountains. We're not really getting anywhere. Just getting... Uh, oh, actually the Ottomans are sieging. I didn't notice. Let's move onto the mountains here. So... Are they actually attacking me here? They might be. Okay, so we can... We're definitely gonna take this. Look at this, guys. I mean, having subjects is just so amazing with uh, these, this ICTA government type. You get the bonus uh, income from vassals. And you get the efficient tax farming, which gives you uh, ducats based on your, your subject's total development. That is so amazing, especially in the early game. When it becomes later game, of course, it isn't that good. But this early on with this, I mean, this huge subject here, or not huge, but this rather big subject. We get a lot of ducats when we can click it. So it's nice. It's nice. So we are losing money. I think it's because we're blockaded, right? So it is actually impacting us a bit. Let's take tech. Um, does France have tech yet? If we're... If, let's move back a bit and then change unit types. Yep. There we go. Now they, they saw that and wanted to kill us. Is that that movement? They tried to... No, let's not. Go away. Oh, I had the... Allow friendly armies to attach. Which meant they really, really tried to do that. Okay, so we're probably not gonna make it there. Let's try to intercept this army. So now we have this guy kind of locked in down here. Is this this is grassland? So let's just kill this guy. Okay, we didn't have any morale. It's fine. We should be able to kill them before anyone arrives. We did not. That's fine. We can retreat. We lost 1k. They lost nearly 4k. That was a good engagement. Can we draw manpower from this? Okay, so... Yep. Okay, that's fine. Always make sure when you get those events with the armor professionalism laws. Always just take this if you can, because... Or not always, of course, but if you have, uh, like... 5% then you can take this and then the event really won't have make a difference Let's see if we can get some loyalty with the we can't get loyalty with Okay, I guess that's fine Could not get loyalty with the merchant guild Loyalty in so take check there So the Ottomans are attacking in the mountains. That's really brave. They are absolutely destroying them though. That is quite amazing. Venice is at tech 9, right? Yep. France is still at tech 8. That might be the reason <laughs> for the absolute slaughter. Let's go down here and block this. Oh, now they're moving into the highlands. Let's see if we can bait them down here. Yep, they're coming for us. And the Ottomans are again attacking in mount into mountains against like double the size army. Okay, Venice actually went away, but let's not. The Ottomans can win that. This is grasslands. 
Okay, so apparently they could see that I wanted to move all the way over here, so nice job AI. Good job coding this very beautiful AI that can predict my every move. Or not predict it, but see it. Very nice. So yep, let's just stand here on the border, keep watch. Oh, if we could somehow get naval um, naval domination, naval suprem supremacy, that's the word, uh, here and then just stack wipe this army, that could be glorious, but we can't. They're finally not blocking, wow, that's a lot of peasants, <laughs> Mamluks aren't doing too hard. Like, uh, the last episode too, they were just on fire. And down here too. Wow. So, yeah, we're just standing here. Nothing really happening. So, he just got loyal, actually. So, that's why he's up here. So, he's actually doing something for once. Okay, so we can make a bunch of claims here. Let's make a claim... Is, are we still we're still in age of discovery so we can make claims like this all the way on the coast here to block off any like invaders i don't know if the AI would actually take land like this but just to be sure how are we doing on aggressive expansion by the way nah it doesn't matter it doesn't matter do we need land from Mushasa? Because then we should probably try to kill them next. Let's see here. We need this bit. So, okay, you're dying, Mushasha, that's for sure. Uh, let's not. Fishing Kaifa loses their corn mush. Let's not do that. No, that's mine. I want it. It's 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 mine. <laughs> Just seeing Ragusa drilling here in the middle of a, a major war. <laughs> that makes me laugh. That's funny. That's funny. Seven K troops just drilling on the border of, well, chaos. <laughs> that's funny to me. Could, oh, I've actually not played with the flagships yet. So this is new to me, designing my flagship. Isn't isn't it like you can make it super trade heavy and super OP? I think so. Is this this is mountains. This is highlands. Let's. Let's see if we can bait them. Okay, so the Ottomans are attacking here. This guy is... Is this mountains? Okay. Doesn't look like mountains, but... Sure. We like intercept him there. Nope. Well then, I guess... They got stack wiped. How are the Ottomans so good right now? I mean, the unit... They're not even on... Tech 9? That's incredible. Oh, there, that's a mistake. That's a mistake from France there. Can we get them stack wiped? Nope, but they lost a lot of troops. This is such a costly war for uh, Venice and France to be in. They lose so many soldiers. Those Ottoman troops are so insane. What's the... Uh, no, not, not army. The military comparison. Let's see. Allies. The morale. Look at the Ottoman morale too. Like the war enemies. They're number two in morale. They have 100... 
10% discipline already. Wow. They don't even have that much professionalism. But maybe they have fully drilled armies, I don't know. So we gotta watch out for our rebels too. Don't have cores in any of that. Or not cores, but claims, I mean. Oh, we actually got the island. Wait, the Ottoman Navy took control? They got supremacy. Wow, that's a stack wipe. Oh, it's only in, oh, it's in grasslands, never mind. I thought it was in the mountain or in the hills. So defending that would be awesome for the Ottomans, but can we actually make it? No, we probably can't. Are they winning though? No. But they're retreating. Let's go up to the hills and see if they will attack us. How much contribution do we have? 13%, okay, nothing then. Oh, Hijaz is going for it. He's like, oh yeah, we gotta siege down that land, that's for sure. Could take ideas, do we want that? We sure do. National manpower and force limit. Pretty good. 27 force limit. But that's probably because of an advisor, right? Yep. So now we're moving. Now we're not afraid. We're not afraid. We have Ottoman. Ottoman strong. Yes. We cannot move through Austria, but this tiny bit in Hungary and Venice. We can. That's just devastating. Actually, that wasn't too bad, but it was in... Oh, it was only in hills, but still. Oh, and now Austria sees them as weak and goes for it. He's like, yep, we want a piece of that cake, that's for sure. Oh, we came there first. Was that the war goal? No, it isn't. They went for the war goal immediately. But wouldn't that be hilarious if we just sat on the war goal? Okay, so we have, we have one claim to do. Was it like, I think it was these provinces we needed, right? I think so. What's the cannon bonus? Wait, do you have like a mate? Oh, Jazz, why are you standing there making us suffer attrition? So, what's the cannon bonus? That's three. Would it help getting another two cannons? It would, but I don't really care. <laughs> I just realized I didn't really. Okay, we can actually move Badlet back. Let's just make our vassals do the dirty work up there. And move back and make short work of the rebels that are about to spawn. We can build some docks. We're gonna do that, I think. Are we gonna build a flagship though? We can't. Okay, that answers that question, I guess. <laughs> okay, so the institute. We need to change the capital so we can start spawning the institution down here. Because it's gonna be a long time, especially since it started over in Portugal. I mean, if it was in England too, but... So, Ottoman, can you please, uh, like, piece them out? Peace France out, he's on low enthusiasm. Peace him out, white peace him. That would be the smart choice. Wait, Austria? Wait, France actually, they're actually defending? And Castile decided that... 
Wow. That's a bold move. Attacking France. I mean, I guess they have Aragon too. So France is just really, really boned. <laughs> What's Bohemia doing? He's also at war with France. Wait. Oh, I feel sorry for France. <laughs> Look at this. Wait, isn't... Who's hungry at war with? Castile, Aragon. So he does have allies in the wars, I guess. But it's not much, I got to say. And he's at war with England too? Really? Oh, that's because of Austria. So we peaced out Naples. Pilgrims are safe. Excellent. Let's take tech, even though we want to move our capital, we also want to kind of get tech. So it's only 4%. Um, so it's not that hu huge uh, price to pay. Let's just move, crank it up to speed 4 here because nothing is really happening. Let's wait for the rebels to fire. Can we actually just make them not fire? We can't. Actually, we do want to give this land to our vassal, even though we denied him it, uh, before. We don't really want that Coptic province. Just it's just gonna be a struggle to hold. So can't assign any. God damn you! God damn you, Ottomans for dragging me into this war. Oh, it's actually in this interface. I forgot. Uh, grant. Grant core or claim. Ultimush. Can't. So. Oh, can't because we're at war. Okay. That's reasonable. Who are we at war with else? Why is the Ottomans moving up here? What's the logic behind this? Does he have like some uh, messed up uh, military access through Poland and all the way this way. That would be strange, but <laughs> sure. Uh, let's just attack even though it's mountains. And we took a crossing too. What? That was more painful than I kind of hoped for. But Okay, so this little crossing here. Made us take a minus one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seems reasonable. Let's get the discipline. And what happened? What's the peace deal? Venice will cede Dalmatia, Naxos, and Corfu to Ottomans. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and now we gain 40 favors again. I'm, I'm telling you guys, this system is really broken. It's just weird. A uh, hundred trust with the Ottomans, only participating in was it three or four defensive wars where we did absolutely nothing. I mean, this one we actually fought a bit, but the other ones, absolutely nothing. It's the, I think there's something wrong with the game. I don't know. There has to be. Wait, the bit list just now ex embraced the institution? The first institution? Like, he did not just get colonialism, right? That would be very strange, because then he would have to develop it. Nope, he did not, so he, ju he just embraced renaissance. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't spread it to you. 779, we're getting... Pretty good, uh, pretty good modern points right now. So let's see, who can revival? We can rival one person, and that's the Ottomans. Let's not do that. I think that might be the wisest option here. And let's see, what can we tax? Nothing, nothing. Uh, 
marketplace. Uh, is it worth getting four here? It's worth getting in Baghdad if we move our capital, so let's do that. Oh, we can actually upgrade this to a Emporium too. For the local development reduction. So that is very nice. We should just be able to call the... I want to move my capital before I join a war, so let's do that. That's probably gonna, if we <laughs> declare war on Mushasa, that's probably gonna make my capital pretty vulnerable, but it's fine. I can live with it. I want cannons. I want one more cannon. Having three cannons is really worthless. But oh, okay. Oh, the Mamluks were in a peasant war. That's why they were so broken. I was about to clear that I was about to click that button and declare the war without <laughs> ignoring what I just said. Okay. Sometimes I amaze myself. Um <laughs> God damn it. You can't do the diplo click, but they're not loyal. Can you guys please be loyal? Like we could give them back that, but then we can't really uh, make it a <laughs> cap our capital, so let's not do that. Hey, oh, can they get loyal with this? They can't. But they can gain influence, and I really don't want that. I mean, we might as well get them really pissed, right? If we're gonna get them pissed, we might, I guess, might as well get them really pissed. So let's do that. We almost lost one ducat in trade right there. Who did they declare on? Defender. Oh, they didn't declare anyone against anyone. They are def defending. Well, uh, let's go one more month and then move our capital so you can stop listening to me uh, uh, babble on about. Uh, Moving my capital, because I've been talking about that for quite a few episodes now. So now it's official. We have moved our capital. Um, now we only need one of these forts up here. This one projects all and protects all of these. So having this is pretty useless. So yeah, let's get rid of this one. Even though it's on an inland center of trade. Well, so now we can declare the war. Because we want all of this. And off we go. But wait, it is actually time to end the episode here. So we're gonna do that. Um, so yeah, we ended on a war declaration. Or being at a war. So... I mean, nothing has changed, really. <laughs> That's the usual ending on both the CK2 episodes and the EU4. So, um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. And you'll have to wait until the next upload to see how this war ends. Spoiler alert, I think we will win. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.